hey guys I'm back with another video for the freelancing exercise number four and let's get going with that so first download the exercise from here and you have to just open it either uh, drag and drop it here or you can just click on it and it will open up so exercise in exercise four it they say uh, the learning objectives are after completing this exercise you should be able to identify the job related to your skill set understand the, the client's requirements explain your expertise to the client uh, design a strategy to complete a potential job and then they say is problem statement bidding is the most crucial part when working on traditional freelance platforms it allows freelancer to proactively describe your proposal to the prospective clients and grab suitable projects rather than getting letting clients finding freelancer by browsing through entire marketplace okay we know that already right sometimes the client faces difficulty in searching appropriate freelancers so they set a pre-assessment questionnaire with a job on the freelance marketplace to find the best fit for the for their project you will be asked asked to answer a few questions when submitting a proposal that helps them understand your strengths so basically they're talking about the uh, pre questionnaire that appears whenever you have to submit for a job sometimes it appears not every time but some employers have uh, set up their questionnaire and those questions are not so difficult they are just a two to three uh, more likely two to three um, words answers questions and like sometimes they are just yes or no questions so don't worry that's a simple one uh, so the task they have given us is first task uh, explains visit any traditional freelance platform search and pick a job post relevant to your skill set or niche provides a screenshot so guys um, I'm gonna do this uh, for the freelancer uh, no not the freelancer I'm gonna do it for the Fiverr um, and you have to see on which uh, freelance marketplace you have your account on and then go on with that so I'm going with the Fiverr because I have my Fiverr account ready and running so you can choose wherever freelance marketplace you want uh, the process will be same the main uh, you can say the all the steps would be same so don't worry about that okay so if you're on the Fiverr and you're still on the um, switch to selling account basically I'm right now as a seller so I have to switch back to buying to get the job results here so what they said was uh, search and pick a job post relevant to your skill set okay so I am searching for my skill set you have to search for your skill sets I'm searching for email marketing which is a very good of my uh, skill set okay so you have to do it for your skill set don't just copy me okay so I found these much people uh, now I have to do search and pick a job yeah just pick it and provide it's a screenshot so I'll pick the person with the most um, stars this one I will see some other person he is doing for 4000 yeah uh, the five choices as well so I'm picking this person I'll open up my word file as well to attach the screenshots also remember that in this exercise you have to only provide the screenshot for task one and then you have to just write the content of task two and write the content of task three on the uh, word file okay and also also they they have given us the guideline in which they have said you're not required to create an account on freelance platforms to co complete this exercise which means we are not uh, we should not uh, if you don't have any account you don't have to sign up for any account you can do it without that okay and also they say use any grammar checking application while writing the content okay so uh, you can attach grammarly at uh, this chrome as an extension uh, where does my grammarly go yeah it's right here so if i'll do this it will appear here you have to sign up oh no but um you can just do it without signing up on to grammarly it's okay so 
and if you're writing on the chrome you can uh, you have to be signed up or without signing for the grammarly so uh, you can either check it on some other online tool as well like you can search for uh, spelling checking online wherever and then the website will appear go to wherever website that comes on top two results and then uh, submit all the all the uh, paragraphs that you have written and then that tool can check it okay so the third they said uh, you can search strategies relevant to your skills uh, skill fields on google to convenience client okay and also briefly explain your past experience and attach similar previous work samples i'm not gonna do this but i'm heading over to task one so okay so this was the uh, profile uh, basically the portfolio that this person is representing and his profile is down here I have opened it here I'll just close this tab where I searched email marketing okay so yeah I have to just uh, take a screenshot of this page here First of all, I'll just do this. Go back here. Take a screenshot from screenshot tool. If you don't know, uh, there's a screenshot tool in your own Windows. If you're using Windows 10, uh, but if you're using Windows 8 and 8.1, it will be there as well. So what you have to do is, uh, you have to uh, right click. On your mouse and then edit quick actions if it wasn't present before you can just edit from here and uh, press the done and then it will appear here you can drag and drop uh, well being in uh, it doesn't do it like this yeah it does okay oh, I just misplaced it more like it so uh, I'll just take a screenshot from here you can take this screenshot of wherever uh, either from down here down here wherever you think is right okay so you can copy it from here and then uh, paste it but before pasting you can write task one screenshot of uh, pardon me for the voice of the typing screenshot of um, any what was it any job posting job post okay uh, I'm pasting this screenshot here okay I'll just uh, change the writing styles I'll make it bigger I'll do it like this I'll copy this and I'll paste it under this and I'll give it test to what was test two? Test two says, read the job post carefully and write an appropriate cover letter proposal for the job post by considering seven effective bidding points taught in lesson 97 uh, to 108. So, if you remember, there were some bidding points, and uh, uh, they told us about how to write efficient and appropriate letter for the proposal of any job. So, if you don't remember uh well i don't remember them so i have to write it on my own for now but if you remember them correctly you will have to write the same here so i'm just gonna um, write anything that comes into my mind so i will write i want professional email marketing 
for my website where I have an online store to sell things like um, baby clothes and other stuff can you help me in my work and how much time can you give me so I don't remember the um, the things that they taught so I write it on my own but you have to write yourself about the things oh sorry I was gonna copy this and this would come as test 3 I haven't tried written what was test 2 uh, cover letter and also you have to know that cover letter should also only be a one word file uh, I am writing these all the tasks in a single word file because um, I don't have to literally submit this proposal to any freelance marketplace I'm just gonna show off it to the persons of the LMS uh, so that's why uh, so give it a yeah like that so task 3 is after writing cover proposal answer the below questions to convenience your client to award you the project why do you think you are a good fit for the particular project do you have suggestion to make this project run successfully uh, so task, task 3 is um, write uh, about yourself and why no just write about yourself okay um why do you think you are a good fit for uh, one second guys oh okay it's not about him it's that we have to do it I can do so we do, we will change it uh, I can do professional email marketing for your website where you have an online store to sell things like baby clothes and other stuff okay I can help you in your work better than anyone else because I have the proper skill set as well as proper experience in the field okay I think that's good so write about yourself uh, what do you think you are a good fit for this particular project I have uh, worked in the similar projects before with the highest success ratio and best ROI than my team so I think I can manage it better than anyone else okay that's it and the second thing is do you have suggestion to make this project run successfully share strategy uh, so this strategy would be more like um, I can tell you that we can use multiple domains to send multiple email marketing campaigns for your company so you can have multiple exp 
four years as well as multiple as well as people can see multiple emails in their inboxes which gives us an extra advantage to sell more in less time okay so that's gonna be a kind of thing that uh, employer would need from us because they need less time and more sale so he would love it that's it that's it guys that's complete from my side so oh. so will you you will just have to save it now and uh, write uh, freelancing Exercise four. That's it, I think. Um, so it should be in the docs format. Don't forget to save it in that. And after saving, you will just have to submit it from here. I will go on the folder that I have saved it in. This is the part. So what else are we missing? Yeah, nothing else. I will just have to tell you that only screenshot for task one, written content for task two and three. That's it. That's it. So just closing all other stuff. Yeah, it's basically submitted. So guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And also uh, tell me how much marks did you get on your past quizzes? Cause my uh, my marks were 10 out of 10. So don't forget to tell yours in the comment section below. So that's it from my side. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Goodbye.